Alright, let's get going here. The Great Cons. The Canyon Rock area, whatever the fuck this is. I'm surprised that didn't come on my mini map. I thought, well, I don't know what I did last time to get this on my, uh, um, on my map without actually visiting it, but whatever. Should pop up any second now. Nice. I can't go any of these fucking places, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, so where's what's his face? Am I gonna see him? Huh? You an asshole? What the fuck are you doing that for? Aha! That's not what I'm looking for though, but. Yeah. Oh, come on. We unlocked this shit already? Why am I wasting my time with this? I just want to find the area. I don't really care about this right now. Yes, Red Rock Canyon. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank God. I'm on level 15 now. That's actually really good. I'm accepted here. And that's the follower's safe house. There's also this area over here that leads me to another location. Hmm. What else can I go to here? There's another place I didn't do yet, I don't think. I don't think I've, um... Let me see. Oh, wait, that's right. There was another quest. Hold on a second. Um, there's Camp McCarran. Camp McCarran will give me to Vault 22, which in turn will let me do that other stuff. I guess I, I guess I could start I can I guess I can start that uh, but there's something else I could also do I can also talk to one of the NCR people allowing me to uh, interrogate this one dude it should be fun times good to see a friend of our government damn Brahmin crap everywhere Fucking expensive to get into the strip these days. Good to see a friend of our. G the NCR appreciates good citizens like you. God damn it! Won't let me do anything with the damn guy. I thought it said a traitor, but I can't trade anything with him. The game's bugged, man. This is stupid. <laughs> thirty-eight special can be fired from a weapon that uses thirty-eight a three-five-seven magnum round. Similarly, forty-eight can be fired from a magnum. Okay, and that could be using. Can be fired from any weapon that uses 50. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, my God. Not now. Please stop. Ah, the hell is this guy? We can talk to him. Crap, now it's doing this shit again. Shit. Uh, Let me save over this so I don't have to make that uh, purchase again. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. Soon as I pick up some caps that Dotri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Calling him being a bounty hunter. Oh shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last at most jobs. You worked a little you worked a lot of different trades? Oh yeah. A lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a nice. cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. 
price of excellence. I've been, I've been known to hunt a few bounties myself. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Why does Dottrio owe you? Because I killed a couple of marks for him, that's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? I take it they were fiends. Damn right they were. And they were good, too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. <laughs> See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. What are you gonna go to do now? Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cast from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. Why did quit the trade? See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money. But it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Also, I ran into this Mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him. But with this guy, it might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. I'm all for risking my life, but I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. <laughs> ass rape, wow. Sounds like a psycho from uh, <laughs> Borderlands. Are you supposed to be famous? Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Well, that's nice. Dotry's over here. I don't want to go over there. I want to go... Wait, wait. Was he over here or was he over here? No, this is Dotry. Yeah, he. Oh, yeah, he's the guy who asks us to uh, to kill those those marks. Like the. Uh, I remember I was talking about this like a couple like like many parts ago. Uh, it might have been actually part fourteen to 16, 17 or something where I encountered Nelfi's head. Yeah, that's the guy who tells us to kill Nelfi, kill the other guy. Oh uh, well, there was a female and there was another guy. They're not that strong actually. They're kind of weak. I don't know how they got their reputation for being NCR killers, but they're fucking shit as fuck. They're weak as shit. Oh, so these NCR guys must be fucking terrible at their jobs to be getting killed by them. I'm gonna save again because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pass this check or whatever to to convince this woman to let me go in here. This might be the last video uh, for today. I recorded at least, what, this is like the eighth video today, I think? I recorded quite a bit, and they're 30 minutes each, so you're looking at 4 hours each right there. That's not bad. Okay, not that long. This is actually the 7th video. But yeah, I'm actually getting a little, um... I'm, hey. I'm getting a little too hot, and I don't feel like recording at the moment, so... Oh, I guess I can't go through here. Fuck. Let's talk to her. You still got, like, a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Do you need any help? Yeah. So far, this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Is that a big deal? Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion, from Caesar on down, will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy, they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's wow. this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Wow. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. <laughs> um... Have you tried calling them hurtful names? Why don't you just bury your prisoners senseless? Oh, B. Okay, no, she doesn't want you to beat them, beat them up. What about a drug truth? Have you tried calling them hurtful names? Yes. And one time, I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. What about a truth drug? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. <laughs> but even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. 
Asshole's too valuable. Why don't you just be your person senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's Aww. my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So what do you want me to do? So, so you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Uh, okay, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Uh, I thought I was supposed to, I know my- I don't think I'm allowed to bring my Long weapons in there, see, though. Silas. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a legion slave collar on it. Wow. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles. <laughs> Not quite. Huh. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. Wow, that And it's that assholes. constant reminder that keeps them docile. Assholes, I'm sorry. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were going to give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Um, right. Let's finish this up, then we can talk. So I have to put all away my weapons? Um, sure, whatever. This shouldn't be too hard. I think I can go in now, right? I only have my fists. I do have armor. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Do I have anything that's for speech? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in with. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in with this and like this. Yes. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do it. She's not coming in, is she? What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? I think you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. You, m you must miss giving orders now that you all your men are dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves. To have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves right, to evade capture anything. because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. Sounds to me you were too gutless to follow Caesar's orders. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Is something the matter, Silas? You look upset. I don't know. I thought she seemed like a nice lady. Your friend is a miserable fucking degenerate. 
<laughs> That's a long walk, Silus. I don't think it's gonna happen. You'd better just talk. If we were on the other side of the river, I'd have her torn apart by dogs. If you don't like dealing with me, I can bring my friend back in. Your tactics are a joke. Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. I didn't even leave. She didn't give me a chance to leave. What? Okay. We don't have anything to discuss, worm. But I want to know how a coward can attain the rank of Centurion. Coward. Centurion, whatever. I've faced odds that would make your NCR soldiers wet themselves. I've led but charges against NCR. men with guns, carrying only my knife. And I can tell you, it was they who feared me. But suicide is a weak death on a battlefield. It says to your enemy that you fear capture. It says if you're caught, you can be broken. So you are unafraid to, to cut any throat but your own? If you can't go through with it, you look even weaker. You think I'm going to slit my throat for some megalomaniacal self-appointed dictator? I didn't work my way up to have it all be taken from me out of some irrational paranoia. Kaisar's losing it. I believe really? that. He's been shutting himself in his tent. Privately, he complains of headaches. Whatever it is, it's affecting mm. his ability to lead. Really? Continue listening. Time was essential for my mission, but we waited three days for him to dispatch us. Another of his headaches. Does that sound like a man in command? He has an operative planted in this very base, but does he use his agent to rescue me? No. He's content to have the agent spend his nights radioing troop positions back to our base camp. He knows I'm here, and he's left me to rot. Who's the operative? I don't know. I know he sends intelligence by radio in the middle of the night. Sometimes that intelligence would find its way to my cantery. I hope the Legion burns your wretched body at the stake when they conquer this place. Nothing I could tell you would do anything to stop that. Right. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And yeah, it could right. save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of uh -huh. this as your commission. Do I love love now? Or no, I just, no, I'm just short. Come on. So who are you exactly? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Wait a second, I thought I thought there was a way I can tell him I was part of the Caesar Legion and I can Huh. Wait a second. I, I remember that quest with, um... What the hell is she? What the hell is her name? Carrier... Carrie Boyd? Wait, hold on. So I want to double check something here. Uh, okay. I don't really care about that. Uh... Carrier Boyd? That's probably wrong. That's... No, that's, that's definitely wrong. Let's try this. Let's try, like, put Boyd. Should come up. Lieutenant... Carry board. Okay, I think I put carry instead of carry. I'm an idiot. Uh, let me see. How do I do this? Let me see. White flash. Dealing with contraras. I put no. Let me see. After completely silent streaming, she will not move around the building, but can often. Um. Huh. Silas treatment. There was another way I can do this. Break Silas. You can attack him outright. Should the player attack? Should, should the player speak with Silas? To direct blah, blah blah. Passing a series of speech checks in a high speech check fifty is, is enough to the required speech skill. Uh, not skill not shown will cause him to spill information with intelligence B or intelligence eight. Oh, I see. All right. 
I can persuade him thinking that you're working with the Legion and here and here to assassinate him. Uh get a little information about his illness. Here's some knowledge of Latin that will help you. Uh frozen heart. Da, da, da. You can also kill him and gain entrance and gain history with Boone. Killing Salad during interrogation results in board concerning your actions by complaining that she lost her best shot at, at getting a promotion. Uh, after gaining the information is gained from Silas, after the information is gained, you can no longer interact with him and Lieutenant Bourne will pay you for your troubles. If the player has already been invited to see the Lambert Corps at the Camp Fort, and, or has a positive reputation with the Legion, they can, they can have the option to tell him, to, tell him this. The player can choose to stage a fight with him and retrieve, and, and, wait. The player can choose to stage a fight with him and retrieve his silent pistol from the locker or whatever. The courier will not lose any reputation with the NCR as a result. After Silas dresses the NCR corporal, he will not speak to the courier while he leaves. Uh, so I guess you can't really get him away. Although Silas can become hostile to the courier, he will never actually fight back against their assaults. He will only block. Kaiser approves of the courier releasing Silas before he could talk about the Legion of Movements, though it though is least pleased by Silas captured by NCR troops and plans to punish him. It's not necessary to kill him, regardless of the player actions, chooses to kill, blah, blah, blah. Silas disappears from Camp McCarran once he reaches the terminal doors. The courier kills him. The player approaches the board, dresses as NCR. Remember, she will address him as an NCR soldier. The dialogue for the squad's, uh changes. She will disregard the players to offer the help. That's part of the game, by the way. I'm not. You're not hearing any ambient noises outside. After everything is done, cells and board will continue their banter whilst we're walking away. All right, so you can't really do anything. All right, fuck it. I thought you could. I thought you can do something extra. Oh well. <clears throat> this is good enough, I think. So at least we know a couple things. First off, Caesar has head problems. I don't know if that's a crippled head or he has some sort of of um, an illness. They mentioned something about an illness. I'm curious if we can use that to our advantage if we ever see him. Uh, let me see. I want to see if they make. Let me see if I can click on something with the illness on it. All right, hold on a second. Sorry about that. Apparently, I'm walking over here because my controller is shit. Come on, pop something up. I wonder what his illness is. Damn, it will be pretty interesting for the lore of this game. I don't. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Caesar. Fuck. I spelled that wrong. God damn it, it won't let me f oh, fuck. Let's try this. What? Let's try this. Kaisar's, never mind. Uh, let me see. Kaisar, let's see what this asshole. Let me see what the. Killing Kaiser. If you manage to kill Kaiser, the effects on the game are fairly minor, although the Legion ending is massively changed due to the fact that Kaiser, as the leader of the, the Legion, no longer directly participates in the combat. If the Curious. If the Curious speaks to Caesar before attacking him, they can get, say, death to tyrants. This is a common mistranslation of Latin phrase, six semper tyrannis. Thus always be tyrants, or thus always two tyrants. Ah! If Kaiser dies for any reason other than his illness, ah. A tumor, ah. Look at this. If you choose to find a diagnostic scanning module, you must go to the heavily irradiated and a ghoul infestated Vault Thirty Four. You can find a f um. Somebody go. Okay, if you choose to.
Medicine is required to offer the surgery, otherwise fixing the auto dock is the only option. Attempting the surgery without the required medicine or luck nine will result in the Kaiser's death, you will must Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So he's way old. He must. I don't know what his fucking illness is, but that's fucking interesting. It doesn't really say here. I might have to look at it later. Alright, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like it. It talks about the illness. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. I'm just sticking around. Oh, uh, that's Colonel. S no, that's Carrier. You board. got something to say, or do you always look like that? Sorry you about that. To say? Hey, or do you always no. look like that? Sorry about that. I put on the wrong outfit for a second. Okay, this t this takes me to the tram. I'm not supposed. To sorry, no civilians on the monorail. Any closer and I am authorized. Ah, uh, yeah, this happened last time where I ended up having to sh kill them on a different save. Unless I'm on that quest line, it won't work. Wait, what the hell? It said, oh, a bottle cap. Okay, hold on a second. There's another quest line I wanted to activate. Where is it? I think it was. It was behind this thing. This is the area to the Vault 22 that I need to go to anyway, so I might as well unlock this now. I, I could probably save it too while I'm over here. I haven't done it in a while. And then once I activate this quest, then we'll... I'll call it for wraps today. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Let me... What's the difference between these two? All right, I'll save over this. Fuck it. I'll, I'll I'll do it on my other character. Though I'll see about telling him that about getting the the eight intelligence. Hopefully, well, let's talk to this person. A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. Need help with anything? You mean give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. For what? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Oh, that sucks. Sounds like someone's inhaling something, and he's sitting down by a broken, worn-out hey. terminal. What the fuck's wrong with this asshole? A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? No, this is the first time I've heard about it. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Nothing is impossible? Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over. But how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. The scientific discovery is never so simple as that. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. 
It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them, no one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Um, all right. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Uh-huh, let me talk to her. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah, he asked me to get some data from Vol 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a of lot course. of marks. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Uh, no, he didn't mention anyone else. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed. Or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. Isn't right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Goodbye. So now we have to go find another person that was sent that he didn't really tell us. Probably because... He just probably ignored the fact that she hasn't come back, assuming she was dead. So he doesn't really care about any of the people he sends over. That what an asshole. That guy's a dick. But anyway, this... Even the stupid NCR is investing in new research. We're getting left in the dust. I know how you feel, Veronica. Anyway, <laughs> um, as I was just about to say, this quest reminds me so much of Oasis Quest from Fallout 3. Yes, let's do something to spread the... Spread the growth of trees and plant forms and all that stuff. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, that's pretty much wraps up Fallout New Vegas for this recording set. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos I recorded today. Uh, you probably won't be seeing this for another, I don't know, couple of weeks or something. But anyway, next time I come back, I'll record more. Probably do this in tandem with this. I believe I, I believe I can get the HEPA cartridges from that location as well. So I can be able to do two things at once. And uh, yeah, we can do a couple things. So I'll see you guys next time for more Fallout New Vegas. So peace out. Have a great day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Stay safe and watch more videos and get more entertainment on YouTube. So yeah, later.